now here how to find out the compound interest when interest is compounded quarterly so quarterly means every quarter year the interest will be added in the principal so how many quarter years in a year okay so we have 12 months in one year 12 months so quarter means divided by 4 so 12 divided by 4 is equals to 3 so every 3 months we can we are making as one quarter year so for every 3 months the interest will be added in the principal so let us see the formula and we can see the problems which are related to compounded quarterly let principal is equals to p okay first in every question they'll give the principal that i'm taking as p so let principal is equals to rupees p rate is equals to r percent rate is equals to r percent per annum okay per annum the rate is given and time so time is equals to n years so time they will give in the problem in years n years so if they will give data like this now to convert into compounded quarterly then the principal will be uh, p itself principal is not changed so principal is the same p and rate this is quarterly so four times should be reduced so one fourth that means r by four percent r by four percent for example if they will give eight percent means eight by four so only two percent per act per quarter so r by four percent per quarter quarter year and time will be so every one year we have four quarter years okay every n years means n into four so four n quarters because four uh, if it is three years three into four so twelve quarters if it is a uh, two years means two into four so eight quarters like that time will be four n now based on this we can write the formula for amount now amount is equals to rupees same p into so p is not change 1 plus rate becomes r by 4 that is r by 4 by 100 so 100 is asked this all to the power number of years this is the number of quarters is 4 year yeah, this is the formula we will use for compounded quarterly so when compounded quarterly so this is the formula we need to use ok how to solve the problems and explain to some here now now find the compound interest find the compound find the compound interest on rupees 20,000 at 12 percent per annum for six months compounded quarter so compounded quarterly is given so there is a main yeah. so compounded quarterly so quarterly formula apply now given data here
P is given principal that is 20,000 and rate is 12% per annum and N is equals to 6 months okay N is equal to 6 months only so 6 months means how many quarters if you convert into years 6 by 12 6 by 12 is years so quarters is 4 now that is 4 ones are 4 3 and 3 ones are 3 twos finally 2 quarters how many times that uh, interest will be repeated that is you can take it as the n place so 2 quarters now based on this information you can do the problem now rate of interest should be reduced into 4 Okay. Now R is also is changing 12 by 4. 12 by 4 is 3 percent per quarter. Now amount is equals to so principal is 20,000. into 1 plus rate of interest is for quarter is 3 by 100 because uh, 12 by 4 is also 3 only so direct I am making all to the power 4 n so previous all we did 4 into n is 6 by 12 that is 2 so that is solved here so this is solution of the 4 n n is 6 by 12 into 4 so 2 quarters so we need to reduce this problem that is 20,000 into 1 plus 3 by 100 so 103 by 100 into 103 by 100 so simplify this so cancellations 1 2 3 4 zeros because 100 100s are 10,000 cancel so 2 into 103 into 103 2 into 103 is 206 into 103 that is the total amount rupees so 21,000 by multiplying 218 21,218 rupees is amount now if you can find out the component interest so component interest is equal to amount minus principal so amount is 21,218 minus principal is 20,000 fine that is the remaining is 1,218 1,218 is a component interest hence required component interest is will be 1218 so 1280 let us solve one more sum which is related to the compounded quarterly find the compound interest find the compound interest on will be 28000 28,000 for 9 months at 10% per annum ok compounded quarterly so compounded quarterly Therefore, here interest is on 1,28,000. So, this is the principal. Now, principal is 1,28,000 and rate, rate of interest is 10%. But according to quarter, 10 by 4% per quarter. Okay, that is 5 by 2% per quarter. 
now time is uh, given in months so 9 months 9 months means number of quarters is 3 quarters because 9 by 12 is in years into 4 that is 4 n you can cancel 4 ones are 4 threes are 3 ones are 3 threes are so 3 quarters So now based on this data we can apply the formula. Therefore amount is equals to principal that is one lakh twenty eight thousand into one plus R by hundred. So R is five by two. By 100 all to the power number of quarters that is 3. Okay, 3 times should be repeated. Now let us solve this. So we can solve 1 lakh 28,000 into 5 by 2 into 100. So 5 ones are 520. So. so 1 plus 1 by 40 all to the power 3 so 1 lakh 28,000 into 1 plus 1 by 40 is 41 by 40 all to the power 3 so power 3 is 3 times 1 lakh 28,000 into 41 by 40 into 41 by 40 into 41 by 40 Okay, write three times. Now by simplifying, cancelling, ten table three times three table here get cancel. One twenty eight four ones are four thirty two. Is it twelve two is eight? Again four table four ones are eight sum. Again four ones are four two sum. Now what is left? 2 into 41 into 41 into 41. So 2 into 41 is 82 into 41 into 41. So by multiplying these three numbers, we will get the total amount. Okay, by using calculation, 82 into 41 into 41. So 1 lakh 37,842. So this is the amount calculated on quarter. Then you can find out the compound interest. Therefore, compound interest is equals to amount minus principal. One lakh thirty-seven thousand eight forty is total amount compounded quarterly for nine months. Then principal is one lakh twenty-eight thousand. So by doing this, uh, subtracting, you we'll get nine thousand. 842. So this is the compound interest calculated for 9 months. So only we need to change the p-value. P-value is fixed. R value, t-value only or to change according to the given problem. Either compounded quarterly or fairly annual like that. Right. So this way we can solve the compound interest problems. So I said earlier we have some other Questions also are available in solutions, including uh, according to your textbook, you will find out the other solutions also, not only maths, other subjects, even other chapters. So, in this website, so just to go through this and find out the other material for freely. Fine, subscribe to the channel, we will upload only the videos which are related for students in case you do not. Right. Thank you for watching, have a nice time.